Welcome to Florida Gulf Coast University. This is the main entrance to the campus. This is the first building you'll see when you come on campus. Basically, this road here circles all the way around the campus. <clears throat> it does pretty much a complete circle. There's a parking garage back there. There are several parking garages on the campus. And we're gonna take a tour. We're gonna to show you the freshman dorm area. We'll take a brief tour of where the upperclassmen uh, housing is and the sports facilities and also where all of the classes are held which is right behind us and we'll start that tour right now. Here's a map of the campus. That's the main campus. This is freshman housing. And it's pretty much upper level housing and that's all the athletic fields over there. And we'll try to show you a little bit of everything. Another thing I wanted to point out was <clears throat> there are boardwalks all throughout the campus. And while the campus is kind of in a circular pattern, these boardwalks kind of act as spikes and they're shortcuts. For instance, this is one of the parking garages that you might take to get to your class. And this is the boardwalk. And the boardwalks lead towards the center of the campus. And they're all over the campus. There's one from the freshman housing that goes to your classes. And they knock off about 10 minutes off the walk time if you were to take traditional paths. And at night they're lit up, so they're relatively safe. It's kind of neat because it's kind of a nature trail. So just wanted to point that out. You'll see these all throughout the campus. Okay, we're in the main campus area where all the classrooms are held. We're currently looking at Ludgard Hall. And that's a uh, College of Business. And most of your classes are going to be all in this area. There's a few other areas throughout the campus, but they've got most of the classes just in this one spot. So we're just going to walk down the length of it. a nice map showing the different food options. Okay, this is Seedler Hall coming up on the right. That's education. Here's Whitaker Hall on the right. And across from there is Merwin Hall. Campus is pretty quiet today because the uh, summer bee session starts next week. 
today is actually the day when the kids are reporting to classes. These are some of the classrooms in Merlin Hall. Arts and Science building. Okay, here's Griffin Hall. And over here is Reed Hall. Let's see if it's open. We'll see if we can get a quick look at one of the classes. These seem more like offices in here. Yeah, these are just offices. Okay, and next we're going to the library that's right next door. Okay, this is the library. Lots of workstations. You know, this spot here is the lawn, the main lawn. This is kind of the hub of the campus. Normally this would be a good spot where everyone would just be kind of hanging out, catching some sun, resting, maybe studying for a class. Also, it's kind of hard to see, but the building behind the trees there is the new aquatic center. And they will teach classes like marine science, things like that in there. Okay, next we're going to go right ahead to the Student Services Center. Okay, now we're at the Cohen Student Center. Student Union, actually. And this is where they have uh, several eating options and a bookstore. Now the freshman dining hall is in C 
Sovi, which is the student village. They have one dining hall for uh, all freshmen. So there's an Einstein bagels. And this is the bookstore. We just currently closed. Bank of America ATM. takes care of this part. Okay, this is the student services area. Academic advising. There are some food options here too. Uh, some of the administrative offices. You can get your parking passes. Uh, McTanner and Hall. We'll go inside there and look around. Yeah. Here's the Student Services Center. All right. And here's the student, the freshman student housing. And we're gonna go take a look inside. Okay, this is the parking garage for the freshman housing largest parking garage on campus, six stories, and here's one of the halls. Freshman complex. That's the pool. So just kind of walk around the outside perimeter of the pool. All of the dormitories here are in pretty large halls, they're all co ed. <clears throat> co-ed whereas boys and girls can be in the same hall you can be right across the hall from each other or in a room next to each other but in each individual room it's only boys or girls so this is where I'd be spending a lot of time after my studies that is Another hall here. And here's the Osprey Hall. You have to have badge access to get into any of these, as well as each floor that you live on. You only have access to the floor that you live on. 
in the hall that you live in. And then down at this end, there's a rather large field out here for soccer or any other activities. And again, if you take the boardwalk, it's about a 10 minute walk to get to your classes. This is Biscayne Hall. This is one of the dorms here in what they're calling Sobe, which is South Village. <clears throat> this is a freshman, one of the freshman dorms, and we're gonna go see a two bedroom, two bath dormitory. Hey, this is Alico Arena. This is where the Division I men's and women's basketball as well as volleyball play the game. They also have concerts here. And over there is the baseball stadium. Across the parking lot is the aquatic center. And this is also where the upper class housing is. All the upper class housing on campus housing is right over there. Okay, so that's Alacoque Center right there in the background. <clears throat> this is some of the up, upper level uh, dormitories, or apartments actually, for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And there are more of them over here. And then the beauty about staying here is you're right at the waterfront. Go take a quick look there. have all kinds of activities and things available to all students from what I understand. Some of them are cl classes, water classes. Some of them you can just come and you can get a surfboard, a paddleboard, a kayak, a canoe. You can go sailing. I believe they have jet skis available too. And they are right on this lake. There is a beach here. So that's what makes this university kind of like a resort. They even have lifeguard stands. And then again, this is the housing. So you're right on the water. The university is about 20 about a 45 minute ride drive from beach from Fort Myers Beach but you don't need to go to the beach when you have this here's one more look at the upper level housing complex Again, the beach is right back there between those two buildings and here's the laundry room. I believe there are four laundry rooms in the overall complex here. And the freshman section has their own laundry room too. And I also wanted to show you there's one of those boardwalks to take a shortcut if you wanted to walk back to campus. This is a sign you won't see too often on many college campuses. But yes, there are Florida Panthers in the area. 
And one last stop today. This is the Welcome Center. And this is where our visitors would come. And there's the parking area for the Welcome Center. And this is where you'll come if you're gonna do a tour of the university. If you enjoy watching this video, one thing I would recommend is going online to the school's website and setting up a tour. They have students that lead the tours and you get on a bus right here and it'll take you all over your campus and pretty much see the same stuff that you just saw with us today. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to do as many different videos coming from the state of Florida. We have both old and new videos. And we have a couple other university tours and we're always adding more. Thank you for watching.